Hello builders, my name is Laszlo and today I'm going to show you how to set up S3 versioning and also explain this feature in a few words. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. So let's see what S3 versioning is. Once you enable this feature on an S3 bucket, uh, when you upload new versions of your objects, Basically, it will store uh, each of these versions. So basically, if you have a file, let's say an image, on which you make some modifications uh, and you upload a new version, that new version will be kept as well. And you can go back and revert to any of the previous versions. Also, if you uh, want to delete a file, basically you know, the deletion will be just a delete marker that's being added to your file. And if you delete that delete marker, uh, you are going to restore the file. So let's see actually how you do this in the console. Now here I am in the AWS Management Console. Let's go and uh, go to S3. Here I'm going to create a new bucket for the purpose of this demo. Uh, and when you create a bucket, let's say I'm going to call this Majestic Versioning. And when you create the bucket here, um, you have the option to enable, disable or enable uh, bucket versioning. So by default, it's disabled, but you can um, enable it. You can enable it later as well. I'm just going to leave it now on disabled to show you where you can find these settings. Let's leave it on disabled and let's create the bucket. So once the bucket is created, let's go to this majestic versioning bucket. You can go to the Properties tab, and um, on the property, Properties tab, right here, there is Bucket Versioning. And you can go and edit it, and you can enable versioning. So let's click on Save Changes. Now versioning is enabled. Now remember that versioning cannot be disabled completely. It can only be suspended. This will suspend the creation of objects uh, for all operations, but will preserve uh, the existing object versions. So let's uh, leave it at that, enabled. So now I have my uh, versioning enabled in the bucket. So I'm going to go now to the Objects tab here, and I'm going to upload a file. So let me show that file that I'm going to upload now. So this is just a regular text file. Um, and if I open the um, file here in Notepad, uh, it will just say this is, uh, this is version 1, 2, 3. This is uh, the text that is contained in the file. I can add any other text here. Let's save this. And I want to upload this file now to S3. Let's do that. Upload um, at Files. And this will be my file and click on Upload. So now I have uploaded my initial version. Now let's suppose I want to make some other changes on this file. So let's go back and um, modify the file. And this time I'm going to say this is version um, 200. I just, I, this, these are just some numbers that I'm inventing right now. So let's save it and do another upload. OK. Upload it again. Same file, file.txt. Upload it. And now let's close this window. And now you see I have just still this uh, file.txt here in the bucket. So how can I see uh, all the versions that this file has? So it's pretty easy. You just enable here Show Versions. Now you see it is showing me each version. Each version has an ID, version ID. And if you use um, the um, SDK to interact with S3, you will have to provide a version ID to, pro to work with um, um, a specific version. But here in the console, you don't have to worry about that. So this is all fine. Let's add another version. This time, I'm going to save this 300 and add some more text at the end. OK, and let's go back and upload another version with the same file, upload. 
close this. And now if I click on show versions, you see I have three versions. Okay, now let's say I want to delete this uh, file. So here I am at the uh, unversioned view. So I click on file.txt and I click on delete. And it asks me to confirm the deletion by typing delete. Notice it just says delete. Okay, so delete objects. And you see um, it deleted. I don't have any objects in this bucket. You don't have any object in this bucket, it says. But is that right? Let's see. If I click on show versions, you see I have the file.txt, which uh, has three versions. And at the end, I have a delete marker. I mean, on the top here. So the delete marker is like a soft delete. It doesn't delete, actually delete anything, but it adds a marker to um, mark this file as deleted. Now, if I want to recover this file, I will just go select this delete marker and delete the delete marker. And it asks me this time to type permanently delete. So I cannot recover this uh, um, uh, delete marker. So let's click on delete objects. Okay, I have deleted this uh, marker and now I have the versions and if I check here the unversioned uh, view, I have the file.txt. But let me sh uh, download each of the versions to see what's inside. So let's download file, uh, sorry, let's go back here and do it like this, download. And this is file number three. This is the original version, so version one, two, three. Let's download now the second one. File number four here, this is version 200, you see. And then the final one, let's download this one as well. So this is version 300. Okay, so what if now I want to delete a specific version? Um, I can do that. So. When I'm here in this version view, I can just click on uh, any of the versions and click delete. But this time, please notice that it says permanently delete. I have to confirm that I want to permanently delete. And this will actually delete that version. So it will not add a delete marker or anything. It will just delete the version. So I have successfully deleted uh, the middle version. And now, um, let's say I want to delete uh, this other one as well. Again, permanently delete. And I have deleted all previous versions. I only have the latest version. Now let me go to uh, unversion view. So this time uh, I'm, I'm seeing the latest version. And if I click, uh, select it and click on delete, it will uh, ask me to confirm a simple deletion. This will add a delete marker. So it doesn't really delete a specific version. It deletes, uh, uh, it just adds the delete marker. But if I go and click on show versions, and now I try to delete this specific version, and I click on delete, this time it says permanently delete. So this will do a permanent deletion of, um, of the file. If I click on delete objects, basically it deleted that latest version. So I no longer have anything and I cannot access any of the files. So make sure that when you delete, you use the unversion view uh, to add the delete marker and um, only delete that, uh, uh, that particular version. So this is how uh, S3 versioning works. Uh, you can keep uh, many versions of the same file and uh, you see you can uh, soft delete them or hard delete them um, um, and things like that. So this was uh, the video on versioning. I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, click on the like button, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you soon here with another video.